G'day guys, it's Chris here from practicalsustainability.org to show you my latest prototype of a solar oven. And uh, this is my first effort at a solar oven and um, the results are pretty awesome, as you'll see in a second. So basically, you can see what it is there, but let's have a look. Hopefully you can see that. I've got a little temperature sensor in there, which has done a full 360. So it's at least about 130 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit or freedom units, but uh, I'll post that up later on. Anyway, have a quick look. It's just a simple frame, a wooden box. We've got strings here that you can unclip and reclip just because it's part of the lid and to get to your food, you have to be able to take it on and off easily. Uh, anyway, inside it's only insulated with one layer of cardboard around the sides of the box in there covered in aluminium foil and uh, underneath there you can see I've placed a whole lot of scrap steel rebar from a construction job I worked last year and uh, it's about 20 kilos of steel in there which is a uh, I think it's going to turn out to be quite important when I start cooking because when you take the lid off let's do that now actually you take the lid off to uh, add your food or whatever it will actually lose a bit of heat so there we go just lifts off like that. I will put a hinge on the next version and you can have a proper look in there. I don't think the phone's coping very well with how bright it can be. But um, there we go. See temperature, air temperature's dropping a bit there. But um, unless you're going to put in 20 kilos of food, I don't think that removing the lid is going to really affect the heat that much. Uh, anyway, I will post the full details in the tutorial and uh, pretty soon I will uh, try cooking on it and get back to you with some proper results uh, Anyway, well, this is the most important part that I've have to improve is how to take this part on and off easily But at the moment, it's just a string a clip and it's attached to a little screw And if you need to tighten that you can just push the string around the screw one more loop And uh, this is brilliant actually. I think it's gonna work great. So I'll get back to you with uh, updates about cooking food on it and um, oh, One other important point in the tutorial, you'll see that the first version of this, um, this big solar array bit was a very much smaller. It included just these one, two, three, four, five bits here, and that got to about 80 or 90 degrees Celsius. So you could cook a lot of stuff with a far simpler version, but I really wanted to crank it up and see what I could get it to. And since it's gone past the ability for my temperature sensor to read, I'd say it's worked great. So thanks guys, and uh, catch you on the next tutorial.